We're at the Museum of London and today is the opening of the Michael Caine exhibition which is a celebration of the life and career of the actor in his 80th year. The museum is also hosting the ceremony of Michael receiving the freedom of the City of London. I, Michael Caine, do solemnly declare that I will be good and true to our sovereign Queen Elizabeth. The ceremony is normally performed in the Guildhall so we feel very privileged today to be hosting the ceremony here at the Museum of London. I give you joy. This is your copy of Freedom. Thank you. Oh, that's incredible for me because it's something that you've never expected to get. I mean, it, it, I was so amazed when they, they, t they told me I was going to be given it. And it's, it's an incredible honor. It is my privilege and my pleasure to extend to you the right hand of fellowship and to greet you as a citizen of London. Of course, the exhibition does include some very iconic images of uh, Sir Michael, including those by David Bailey and Terry O'Neill. But it also includes some of the more informal, unfamiliar images. And I thought it was really important to introduce something new to the exhibition that people probably hadn't seen before. All these pictures bring back memories for me. Yeah, they do. Yeah, uh, uh, um, they all mean something. I mem I, and I have an extraordinary memory. I have a memory like a computer, so I remember exactly when they, when they were taken, even if it was 50 years ago. Happy birthday, Sir Michael. The point is, your life springs up and you go, oh my God, I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> it's like when, they, when they, they do a Lifetime Achievement Award, you know, they go through all the movies. For half an hour, you watch yourself age 60 years, you know. But I only look at the young ones, so it's okay.